Also, quick update for the F people, uh, for my mental health, emotional state, yada yada. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, in fact, the thing that has been causing me to freak out for the past, like, two straight solid years is finally being resolved. Um, I was able to do telehealth and my partner is going to be having a physician that comes to the home. So the major thing that has been causing us massive amounts of stress for two years, finally taken care of. Uh, also, I have a lot of weird issues. Like, the reason y'all like me is because I say, hey, yeah, I'm weird. I do weird stuff on the internet. I know. Well, I'm self-aware that my mental state is very... Mm -hmm. But it is possible to utilize things like that in a constructive way. Depressed. Write some sad poetry. Angry. Rant and scream about it. it can get kind of creative at times. Uh, really manic? Do some of that fucking cleaning. There are ways to utilize it, but times when, you know, I, I'm talking about, you know, feeling suicidal. The whole passive suicidality thing is something that people don't really know enough about. There's a difference between passive and active. And um, passive, you could be talking about it, but if you don't actually make the plan, it's not, you know, it, it's complex. But I really feel that openness, transparency, all those things are important and people are valuing them more now if you want to know more about mental illness and issues. So I can do both. I've made jokes since I was a kid that, yeah, I'm going to be a motivational speaker one day, but I'm going to be like an offensive humor stand-up comedian. It, like, I, I, <laughs> the reason I went ahead and put lol cow in my about section is because I see it as a compliment. I don't know what videos I still have up and not. YouTube creator emails are sitting unread in my inbox for who knows how long. Stuff gets deleted. But at one point I was ranting and raving about how I honestly like to try out things like entertainer or comedian type things uh but you know someone would have to discover me because i'm not working hard enough for that on my own someone else does it, do it for me <laughs> so when royce daywave adonis paul virgie g other people who you know i haven't follow it up on because I am a tech boomer and you need to like specifically tell me that someone's about to be talking about me on a show and link me to it otherwise I don't know who people are I live under a rock and I'm fine with it <laughs> my uh, zodiac uh, when you combine eastern and western the horse and the crab turns into the hermit crab it's very fitting uh, and it's just like when people share my videos, it, it, it really it doesn't matter if you're agreeing with me, you're getting a catharsis from my anger, if you're saying WTF, if you're laughing, if I've just badly rickrolled you because YouTube chose the thumbnail and wouldn't give me a like way to change it properly, um, poorly rickrolled. Like, regardless of, you know, if I'm being told fuck you or fuck off or some stupid joke I pulled, people are getting amusement, enjoyment, like, that's... I've been chosen as an entertainer for that segment of that person's show. So it's like... 
I keep joking about things ironically, but then they happen. And I'm like, oh, I've got this weird paranoia that, you know, with the amount of followers I have, like, that's not really how many people are following me. Like, yeah, that's what my subscriber count says, but like all these people, they're secretly disseminating my videos and clicks among themselves and... I mean, it ain't that deep, but you can see the parallel. <laughs> So, yeah, the F people, the fuck people, like, y'all are literally the type of people I've been trying to find, okay? I, I am the person that lives online, breathes internet, yet also, like, niche interest, lives under a rock, doesn't know the popular stuff. I can be gullible at times, but uh, even though my name is Chris, I'm not going to be the next Chris Chan. That's a topic we'll be talking about. Right. My throat's really dry. I gotta go.